I'm Dr. Cynthia Clark, acupuncture physician, applied clinical nutritionist, creator of Energy Evolution, and president of Longevity Wellness. And I wanted to take a moment and chat with you this morning about one of the questions I've gotten asked most often over the last decade, but especially in the past couple of years. And that is about what vitamins should I be taking? Should I be taking Z? Should I be taking my, my C, my D, my zinc? What should I be taking? And I wanted to address the um, the most common way that most of us are accustomed to thinking about vitamins, which is by the alphabet. A, B, C, D, maybe I know I need some K if I'm really adventurous and I've been researching for a while. And I want to speak to you a little bit about how that nomenclature works. Usually those are applied to synthetic vitamins. Now those vitamins are all in whole foods. And so you might know that your carrot might be great for you in vitamin A, which is great, but it's got a lot of other vitamins too. It's not just vitamin A. Those are synergists and they help you to digest the other vitamins that are involved in the same way that fat helps you to digest the fat soluble, soluble vitamins. So for example, let's take vitamin E. This is the vitamin E that you might go to the store and purchase, the grocery store and purchase, is gonna say something most likely like D-alpha-tocopherol. So if there's a D, then that means that there's an A and a B and a C. And then if, if there's an alpha tocopherol, then that means that there's a beta at least. And so we know that that's not the whole compound. Well, one of the interesting things about taking synthetic vitamin D in the form of D-alpha tocopherol is that we humans need selenium in order to digest that D-alpha tocopherol vitamin D, synthetic vitamin D. And so we'll actually wind up with a selenium deficiency if we take these, if we take synthetic vitamins. Um, that's why you might see a lot of people who take vitamins over time and it seems like they need to take more and more. Um, and what's happening is that their bodies are using other nutrients, um, co-synergists in order to digest those vitamins. So my favorite vitamins and first go-to are always whole food vitamins whole food supplements um, because of the cofactors that exist within food. So it makes it the most bioavailable to us. And the other question that I get asked a lot is, okay, uh, I just want to get this from my food. So I really applaud that. And a great healthy diet is a worthy pursuit, especially food cooked with love, wonderful, delicious food cooked with love. Um, However, sometimes we reach a point in life when we need a therapeutic dose of a certain nutrient. So for example, your body might need a whole lot of beets to help it clean up its system. And there's a couple different ways you can do that. One is by beet juice. The problem is there that it's really, really high in sugar and it's devoid because it's the juice, it's, it's devoid of the parts of the plant that make it whole. And then the other problem is if you just try to eat a whole bunch of beets, um, you know, they take up a lot of room in your belly uh, and, and it's a little hard on the digestion. So it's not necessarily that we are supposed to get all of our nutrients from our food these days. The reason for that, unfortunately, is that over time, there's been a decline in our food supply that's happened from the erosion of the topsoil that sat on top of it. So you may know that the, the topsoil that existed in America um, 100 years ago was dramatically different than the topsoil that we have access to today. And it is much more mineral devoid today than it was 100 years ago. So 100 years ago, you could eat one cup of spinach and get the same number, full amount of nutrients that today you would have to eat 60 cups of spinach in order to get that same 100% quantity of nutrients that you that you got in the cup of spinach 100 years ago. So unfortunately, times have changed. Um, our water supplies have changed. It's why we take care to drink filtered water so that we're taking the, the chlorine and the ammonia out of our water, also pharmaceuticals that exist that have gotten poured into our water supply. Um, we, are, we are cognizant so by being aware and diligent, then we can take right action in order to make sure that we don't get overexposed to those things. So in the same way that you filter your water, it's a very, very, very healthy process to identify which 
vitamin and nutrient deficiencies that your body has, and then to find the nutrients that you need um, and supplement accordingly. There are great tools that you can use online. Um, one of my favorite tool trackers is called Chronometer, C-R-O-N-O-M-E-T-E-R. Last time I checked, this was still free and it, you, it's a food log, but instead of just giving you your carbs, protein, and fat summary as you go along, it actually gives you all your vitamins and minerals and nutrients as you go along. So you can see exactly what you're eating and what you might not be eating. Um, and you can do it as you go. So if you've eaten breakfast and lunch and you're like, yes, I'm doing great on my vitamin D and my vitamin E, but I'm really missing my vitamin A, you can even press a little button and have it recommend foods to you that have vitamin A in it. I highly encourage um, that kind of approach because the more nutrients that we get from our food, the better you eat, the less other supplements that you need. However, food in therapeutic dose is what whole food vitamins are and so those beets that your body might greatly need um, but i don't know about you i don't have room in my belly for 60 beets a day or 60 cups of spinach a day that's why i use whole food supplements that have the water taken out and they're compressed and it's it's food it's just like kind of like willy wonka and the chocolate factory kind of food it's very dense and it's very compressed and then i can just swallow it and i can get chock full of nutrients that I might, that I'm not otherwise getting in my diet because it's, it's not in our food supply. So I can eat say six tablets of a particular supplement called AF beta food. And I can get, let's say 60 beets into my belly without having to hugely tax my digestive system. So that's a little bit about synthetic supplements and about whole food supplements and how they work and why that's the preferred choice at longevity wellness for how we go about looking for treating nutrient deficiencies in the body. I'm Dr. Cynthia Clark and that's good medicine.